Okay, so here's the picture. Let's save it. I'm on a computer, so I'm gonna right click save image as. If you're on a Mac, um, oh gosh, I haven't worked on my Mac in a while. If you're on your phone, you can screenshot it. Okay, so I saved it. And then I'm going to go to this website here, remove VG, okay? And then I'm going to upload that image that I just saved. Let's find it. Okay, so there's the image. And then I'm going to go over here and click remove background. See? Removed it. Okay, so download. Then I'm going to go to Cricut. I'm going to upload browse and I just did that in my download so let's put that there there it is see look it's already ready so then you don't really need to do anything but continue see and the cut file is really clean and then save I guess if you wanted to I don't think you'd want to knock their mouths out but now they're ready and so if you were to insert it, it's on cut and print. Let me delete this thing. So here's our project. You can make it as big as you want. I don't know how big the cricket is. I actually haven't measured it. Uh, by the looks of it, um, from where I'm sitting, it looks like it's maybe like 14 inches wide by like five inches. Something like that. I'm not sure because it's like, 10 feet away from me but um so yeah you would make it however big you want it um and if you don't want uh it to stay scaled like that you can unlock it okay and you can make it however big or small you want it and then when you go to make it of course it's going to say project incompatible because it's set on a cut and print okay so if that if you get that message and it's on a cut and print and you want to cut this out in like permanent vinyl um, then what you're gonna do is just click on your on it okay so it's selected up here in your panels where it says cut your line type says cut your fill says print we're gonna change that okay we want this to be no fill it doesn't matter what color it changed right here because remember whatever color we put in our mat is what we're gonna use and now if you look it says cut okay go to make it and it's ready to go, okay? That's just telling me that I need to use my uh, larger mat, but I should probably use my 24 inch uh, mat. So I'm just gonna say, okay. Now, if we were to leave that as a print and cut and you wanted to do this on stickers, wait, I'm sorry, I did that really quick. Let me show you what I just did, okay? So I selected it, you can select it multiple ways. You can select it like this, you can select it over here in the uh, layer panel. This is what I'm always referring to when I'm saying, uh, what does your layer panel look like? So you can select it that way. You can press control all to, to select it. There's multiple ways to select this, okay? You can just scroll over it or hover over it and click on it. Up here where it says no fill, if you were doing this on stickers, you would print it. Okay, so that would be print because you're going to be printing it on something, right? Uh, what, what color did you want it? Let's change our color over here if you wanted it to print in red. You could have little red ones. You could have orange ones. And so whatever color you designate on the print is whatever color that's going to print um, on your printer. Okay, so if I wanted to make these uh, little people blue, I would do that but again when I go to, to click make it it's gonna say that it's too large okay so you can take a shape I will get more into this later more details about what we're gonna do but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a shape we're gonna take a square and I'm just gonna cover about half of this image I'm going to cut it in half okay we're gonna use uh, this this thing uh, kind of like a, we would use a cookie cutter and what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna select everything by doing this again you can select it by control all you can do it over here in the in the layer panel by uh, selecting on it 
pressing on the control on the keyboard and clicking on both of them. I find the easiest way to do it is just to select it. Okay, and now that both of them are selected, we're gonna go down here to our slice option. Think of a cookie cutter, okay? Over here in our layer panel, we just got a whole bunch of things going on here. Delete that square. If you were to separate this, as you can see, we made two, pan we made two layers out of it. You can delete this one and now it's into two, okay? So now when you go to make it, it would print your stickers or whatever material you're using. So I hope that helps.